Thousands more Metro students are attending schools that are among the lowest performing academically in the state. And this is a trend the district is trying to reverse and fast. But first, they have to diagnose the problem. News Channel 5's Andrea Klein Thomas tells us about the common problems these schools face. Andrea. Oh, well, Vicki, some people may immediately say that it's poverty that is the problem problem plaguing all of these schools. But as a report shows, the district has other concerns that they actually have control over. You're going to make a prediction. You're going to make a prediction. Hmm. Instability has plagued Robert Churchwell Elementary. Fewer than 20% of students are on grade level. We're trying to give everyone that high quality education that all students um, should get. Trelawney Lane is the new principal, the third one since 2012. And because of that, you have young teachers. You have teachers that aren't really sure, you know, what's going to happen next school year because the leadership has changed. More than half the teachers did not return this school year, and it's difficult to recruit new ones. It's a common problem at Metro's lowest performing or priority schools. Because you know automatically you're probably going to be dealing with discipline, um, you're dealing with low test scores, and now with the accountability with uh, teacher evaluations, people are a little um, apprehensive of coming to schools that are labeled low performing. The job ahead of us is to make sure that every school uh, is a school uh, that has the right climate and the right support system. An evaluation of Metro's priority schools cited low expectation of students and not enough community or parental engagement as common concerns. So is the high concentration of poverty that easily tops 80 percent. That's not a uh, not something for us to use as an excuse. What we have to do is be able to deal with that so children can be successful. So this is our museum. And we have student work in here. A North Nashville native, Trelawney Lane, says she's committed to providing consistency and raising the bar on high expectations with equal parts professional development and extra motivation. With so many external factors to consider, what happens in this building is well within their control. With no doubt in my mind, these students can be and will be proficient in advance. Now, the report includes immediate action steps for improvement for those 12 priority schools. It will impact future decisions, including jobs and pay for teachers and principals and those harder staff, harder to staff schools. Reporting in the newsroom, I'm Andrea Klein-Thomas, News Channel 5 HD.